Hello, and welcome to my warm and festive home. Today, my holiday experts and I have a plethora of celebratory and fun ideas to ensure the most happiest of Halloweens for you and your loved ones. Won't you please spend a little time with me today on Holiday Fun with Shelly? Hello again. Well, I'm glad that you've all decided to pay me a visit today because we have quite the many treats and maybe even a few tricks or two planned for you. Hopefully, they will inspire you to relish in the holiday splendor that Halloween has to offer. And to get those warm, fuzzy feelings flowing, I've invited a good friend of mine, Ryan Reagan. He is an expert in pumpkineering, and he is going to demonstrate an age-old Halloween tradition, pumpkin carving. However, with his expertise and research, I wouldn't be surprised if he has a few tricks up his sleeve. So please welcome Ryan Reagan, our pumpkin extraordinaire. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Ryan. How nice, are you? Good. Uh, okay. Wow, it's just, it's just unreal being here. I've been yes. watching for so long. This is just dream now, come true. Ryan, tell me why you think pumpkin carving has become so popular through the ages? Well, it's, pumpkin carving is extremely popular because... Can, I bet you you can't think of anything more fun to do on Halloween than pumpkin carving. Let me try. No, I can't. No, see, the You're answer right. is no, you You're can't. You're exactly right. Pumpkin carving is just an absolutely great time. I think you are definitely right. Well, why don't we go to break, but when we come back, you'll show us just how to get into these fun little pumpkins. Sounds fun. As chair of the Governor's Traffic Safety Committee, I've got good news. New York State's roadways are the safest they've ever been. But they can be safer if everyone would just buckle up. Seatbelts can make the difference between life and death. I've seen people walk away because they wore their seatbelt. And I've seen people die because they didn't. It breaks your heart because you know it could have been prevented. We're here to save lives. So think of it as tough love. Please, wear your seatbelt. Hey, because in New York State, if you don't click it, you're going to get a ticket. Here's dessert, ladies. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, there's only three. These look good. Oh, you didn't get one. <laughs> Here. I have both. <laughs> Sharing, it's the icing on the cake. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Hello again. Before we dive right into the carving, I think first we need to uh, just experience what it's like to go to the pumpkin patch and pick out a pumpkin. So any words of advice, Ryan? Well, there are a lot of pumpkin patches out there, so don't just choose any pumpkin patch. Make sure you go to as many as possible to make sure you find that perfect pumpkin. Okay, well, I think you just did that with our crew a few Indeed days ago. I did. So why don't we just take a look? Hi, today we're here at the Iron Kettle Pumpkin Patch looking for the perfect pumpkin for our Halloween. Now, just one thing I learned about studying pumpkins all these years is that finding the perfect one takes a lot of time. So let's get looking. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of pumpkins here for us to choose some from. So, like take this one, for example. This one, it's a pretty nice pumpkin. It's got a nice texture to it. However, it's a little squashed, making carving on it not it's quite oh, so ideal. Now, you see these small pumpkins? They're pretty cute, and like I'm a big fan, but good luck trying to carve these guys. Now, you see this guy? Now, this is a nice, healthy pumpkin. Look at the stem and how powerful and how strong the stem is. And it's good shape, nice texture to it. 
good weight. I would, this is the type of pump you want to aim for when you're doing your Halloween carvings this year. This is definitely going on the cart. Well, Shelly, it looks like we have all the pumpkins we need here today. We found some pretty good ones that I'm really happy with. So, I say we just get right down to carving. Wow, Brian, thanks for that invigorating lesson in pumpkinology. Now, what do we need to partake in pumpkin carving? Well, first and most importantly, you need that perfect pumpkin. That is Luckily, perfect I pumpkin. found mine. Also, you're going to need a nice, sharp knife. Now, yeah. kids, I know this can be dangerous, so make sure that you have your parents' supervision. Also, you're going to need some sort of marker, preferably a Sharpie, so you can draw the outline of what you're going to cut out. Also, you're going to need a nice big spoon to scoop out all of the contents of the pumpkin so we can create That's a successful right. jack-o'-lantern. Well, let's just get right into it then, Ryan. Okay, well, the first thing you want to do is get with your knife, just jab it right into the top of the pumpkin, like so. Oh, that was a good jab. I've been doing this for years. It's, it's very that. good. I see that. So okay, you're going to well, just I make... I think we get the idea of that. It's going to look like this at the end, right? Yeah, so luckily, to save right, some time, good. instead of wasting time in carving the top off of this, I brought two all with that are already scooped out oh, and have great. the tops cut off. Shelly, this one I picked specially oh, for you. Thank you, Ryan. When I saw that one, it just screamed Shelly. It does, kind of shaping my head. So now we just need to draw the outline of what we want the pumpkins to look like. Okay. So I'm gonna put two nice little eyes right there. Oh, you're gonna make your strangles too? Maybe I'll yep. make mine wink. And now I'm gonna make, give it a big <laughs> smile. There oh, we go. I'll make mine sad then. Okay. Okay, that's a sad looking pumpkin. It is a sad because so, you know Halloween can be scary as well. Very, very true. So now we're gonna just go ahead and carve along those lines. It's a little harder than it looks. Right? Yeah, it is, but trust me, like everything else, practice makes perfect. I just I knew it this. So, so just, just go ahead and carve along those lines. <laughs> Ryan, you're such a such an expert at this. Now where did you where did you get all your uh, research and your, your knowledge on pumpkin carving? Well, pumpkin uh, carving has been passed down my family for years. So oh. I just learned from them. So to I'm pretty much you're just going to go ahead and cut much. out like that. And then when you're done, your pumpkin should look something like this. Now, oh. isn't that spectacular? That's a great pumpkin. Yeah, I mean, not my best work. It took me eh, 10 minutes or so. Could have been Took better. Me 10 but minutes on the side, so I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, yeah. so that's what the jack o' lantern should look great, like. Great, great. Now, these jack o' lanterns are kind of cute, kind of fun. Indeed, they are. What if someone likes a little more scary aspect of Halloween? Say, um, a little trick or two. Oh, well, do I have the answer for you? Oh. Now, kids, this next little exercise is going to involve just some household objects, and chances are you have them in your fridge, so lucky you. Now this bowl, it may look like a pile of grapes, but however, on Halloween, this bowl turns into a pile of gross, Ooh. disgusting eyeballs. That sounds spooky, Ryan, but what do we need to assemble this scary eyeball dish? Well, first and most importantly, you need grapes. So go in your fridges, or if you don't have any, go head out and buy some grapes. Okay. Also, you're going to need a grape peeler, because that's how you get oh. the skin off the grapes to give them that, that disgusting texture. Okay, okay. Also, you need some Vaseline. Va trust me, you may be asking me now why you need Vaseline. Why would you need Vaseline, Oh, Ryan? I'm going to show you soon. Okay. You hold on. You show me. It's and also, surprise, you need huh? a large bowl to put all the scraps. So, Shelly, why don't you pick up some grapes and we'll right. start peeling. Okay, I'll just, I'll just stick with my hands, Ryan. Okay. I like it a little more, down to the basics, feel one with the grape, you know. Well, I prefer using the great peeler. So when you're done, you can just throw them right in the bowl. Okay. And that's when you can get your petroleum jelly. Ooh, this Ooh. is going to be good. And Can't you just, wait for this. You make sure you get a big, nice wad of it, like so. Oh, that, that's disgusting. And you put it in there. Uh, uh, this just feels fantastic. <laughs> this feels like Halloween to me. Oh, <laughs> and you just rub it inside. Halloween. And now you have a bowl of gross, disgusting oh, eyeballs. I'm so scared, Ryan. That was amazing. See, they feel like gross, that's, disgusting eyeballs. Uh, that's a know, fun I also little trick. Heard for the excess on your fingers, you can just rub it on your lips. But we'll do that during break. So now, why don't you just um, take a look at break? <laughs> with a calling. 
most serve one weekend a month and two weeks a year. Earn money for college. Protecting their community. In the Army National Guard, you can. Here's dessert, ladies. Sharing, it's the icing on the cake from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. As chair of the Governor's Traffic Safety Committee, I've got good news. New York State's roadways are the safest they've ever been, but they can be safer if everyone would just buckle up. Seatbelts can make the difference between life and death. I've seen people walk away because they wore their seatbelt, and I've seen people die because they didn't. It breaks your heart because you know it could have been prevented. We're here to save lives, so think of it as tough love. Please, wear your seatbelt. Hey, because in New York State, if you don't click it, you're going to get a ticket. Here's dessert, ladies. Ooh. <laughs> There's only three. These look good. Oh, you didn't get one. <laughs> Here. I have both. <laughs> Sharing, it's the icing on the cake from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Hi again. With Halloween soon approaching, it is time to start thinking about those crazy costumes that everyone must have. I know it is hard coming up with creative ideas each and every year, so I have invited our very own costumologist to help us look at scary and not breaking our bank account. Everyone, please welcome my frightening friend, Sally Locke. Hi, Sally. Hi, Sally. Thank you for having me. No it's such problem. an honor to be here. No problem. Now, thank you for coming. We are sure. ever so excited to see mm -hmm. what tricks you have. That's right. So first, let's take a look at what it is we need to create these costumes. Now, what supplies would you recommend that we have around the house? Just normal household items. Um, here's toilet paper, okay. um, empty beer bottle, uh, a box, just like any cardboard box, mm -hmm. um, white sheets. Uh, I think you can guess what we're going to be making out of these. I have white sheets at home. Yes, everyone does. Every day items. They're ordinary items. Great. Now, okay, let's start with the first item, okay. then, Sally. Well. Let's start with the toilet paper. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you stand over here, All right. and we're gonna make you into a mummy. Oh, okay. A using... I never would have thought that. Yes, so I know, creative. I know. Okay. And okay, I'm gonna have you spin. Hold. Okay. Right. Hold right here. Hold that, yeah. Okay. And then go ahead and spin. Yep. Just like that. Uh huh. Oh, I see where this is going. And, and, yep. N make sure you wrap it <laughs> nice and tight. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. And make sure. You might want to get some. Uh, Oh, thicker toilet paper for this. should have gotten double ply, but yeah. we're on a budget. It's okay. People are on budgets all right. here. So oh, then, okay. So then, after we uh, finish wrapping her, you oh, just kind so of tuck them away. Oh, so we just everything. That's right. That's all right. right. Well, I like this idea, Sally, but what if, you know, I'm not feeling the dead person no. kind of thing. Maybe, what else Okay, we well, suggest? definitely this costume would work great for okay, you. Okay, still dead person, You but. take a sheet, white preferably. Right. And uh, we're going to make you into a ghost. Yeah, I so, think okay. oh. So you just drape the sheet right over your body like that. Oh, I feel scary, Sally. And And we want to make sure you can see when you're going trick-or-treating, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to put some little eye holes. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. just kidding. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like and it. a little nose hole so she can breathe. I can smell it. And, <laughs> and a little hole for the mouth. Okay, just, we're just gonna a little Halloween off. humor. We're gonna take this off. Just a little Halloween humor. And we're gonna off. cut out the stencils oh, that I just face. drew. Look at the resemblance yep, there. Yep. 
Okay. Um, but so All then right. you would just cut this out okay. and then you would so wear it. I think we get the idea right. of that. So right. what's, what ever could we use these keystone light boxes? That's I, a good question. I have lots of these hanging around my house. This would be and great then for you. Do with them. It's a cheap, fast way of just throwing together a last minute okay. costume. All right. I'm going to start with your feet. We're okay. going to make you just into a robot here. What do you want here. me to do then? Just Go ahead and step inside this okay. box. Okay. Yep. Just like that. All right. Uh huh. Oh, I like where this is going. Yeah, like and then it. you're going to stick your arm right through this. Oh, Might hurt wow. a little bit, but... No, yeah. this yeah. is quite comfortable, no. actually. It's good? Yeah. Good. All right, so then... Okay, so we need... Cardboard then, boxes, we're going to need tape, cardboard boxes, scissors, um, okay. tape, scissors, you might okay. want, if you want to draw some little designs on it, you might want to oh, have them. I like, I like this, you know, organic look. Yeah, and then to top it all off, you put a little head on oh, it, great. and voila, you've got the, almost the cheapest costume you could ever wow, get. Wow, this is amazing, mm -hmm. Sally. Yep. Well, well, Sally, as you can see, you certainly know how to find every day an expensive Thank item. Thank you. Um, but can she perform under pressure? Stay tuned to find out. We're going to put Sally to the test. Oh, no. Think you can handle it, Sally? I hope so. Think I think can. I will be able to since right. I'm the uh, expert at well, this. It's nothing, doing nothing for the hair, however. This is Halloween. Most serve one weekend a month and two weeks a year. Earning money for college. Community. In the Army National Guard, you can. Is dinner ready? Ooh. Ooh, there's only three. These look good. Oh, you didn't get one. Sharing, it's the icing on the cake. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Teeth ground sharp and eyes glowing red. I am the one hiding under your stairs. Fingers like snakes and spiders in my hair. This is Halloween. Well, welcome back. Now it is time to really put Sally's costume expertise to the test. Now, I've gathered numerous random everyday oh, items no. I just had lying around my lovely, lovely home. So, Sally, you must prove to everyone that you can make an amazing costume on the spot and without having to purchase a thing. Okay. So, I have graciously volunteered right. to be a model. Okay. So, now you have only a few minutes All right. to start costuming, Sally. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is just so much. Oh, guys. my goodness. What are you what, feeling? Handcuffs? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay, that's, that's all right, I think I'm going to make you into a pink Power Ranger. Here oh, we go. Okay, okay. here's, you got to go out with your protective gear. Okay. And, uh, and uh, maybe, this, maybe, this is my riot you're the gear. pink Power Ranger, so around. you're very stylish. And, and okay. here's okay. some protective gloves okay. that you can wear. Um, and, and of course, you'll be wearing these pink pants. Um, you would just, oh, you know, put great. them on, but um, obviously, you know, we yeah, don't I think have I time for that. that. And um, yeah, maybe if you want to put some more protective gear on, okay. that would work. Um, All right. And maybe I'm these I used to wear, you know, back in the my disco days. Oh wow! So I got these from. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Another and glove, so, right? so you're ready to go. You're this, ready this to go is, out this and trick or treat and for uh, a Halloween costume. It, it definitely. Would. This is. You would get a lot of candy. You know? Okay, well, you know? Sally, you do the best you know? big Power Ranger. Ever. Why, why don't I make one for you then? Okay, Sally? sure. I think you're going to be um, a skull head. You know, I've never been like this before. <laughs> um, just leave it like that. I like okay. it. Just okay. go like that. Okay. That's okay. the look I'm going for. Great. Um, a baseball mitt because <laughs> yeah, you want to beat people up with it. Okay, great. Just throw that there. But I, I have um, a, yeah. What else? But you know, I sometimes I feel like we forget about Christmas. So let's put the Santa costume on, and there you go. Right. All right. right. Well, thank you very much, Shelly. Sure, and sure. It's a let's pleasure. take a look at what our sponsors have to say. Ooh, this is great. No break. So, Ryan, why don't you come back in? And uh, we have a costume for you as well. Sally, what? Now I have to ask you, what are these Are these handcuffs? Okay. All right. Thank you both for coming. And sure. you've really made Halloween a lot more happy. Sure. Thanks a lot, guys. Goodbye, and stay tuned for Cornucopia's next week. 
he did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the 